thanks to you and your family very much for taking the time to meet with me. I'm going to be honest with you. We've been watching your game tape for years now, and you are our highest priority. We want to develop you from the excellent player that you already are into an all-American player and college legend. Everyone knows about the Fab Five, but with your skills, we think that you can break the records currently held by the great Wolverine Glenn Rice. Make history, freak. Join the rich maize and blue tradition in Ann Arbor and become a Wolverine. We look forward to your decision. Go blue! Like the sun that shines over the great state of California, we have been a banner of excellence in college basketball. Our ideologies are rooted in the core of what comprises the DNA of who we are at UCLA. 11 times champions. You are destined for greatness. And your destiny should lead you to a grand stage. And trust me, no stage is more visible than the city of Los Angeles and UCLA. We will have your jersey hanging in your locker, waiting for you to claim your spot amongst the stars. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Like I said, what are you doing? Anyways, where is Freak? Now, CC, you know your brother. He loves to make a grand entrance. He gets it from your mother. She's always showing up late for work. I arrive when my services are needed and not before. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I'm just explaining where he gets it from. Mm -hmm. Was I missed? Boy, where were you? I was taking out the trash, Mama. You're such a good son. I'm gonna miss you when you go off to college. Yeah, who's gonna do the trash detail? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry about that, Pop. Cece could take over. Uh-uh, not so fast. I'm going wherever you're going. Someone has to keep you on track, and them college chicks are. That's right, Cece. You help tutor them. I'll take care of the young ladies. <laughs> Vic, go home. Why are you even here? Yo, because I'm the cameraman. You know what? Speaking of which, Freak, you ready? Hey. These young college hotties are already hitting me up, man. Oh, just tell me in the world which university. Vic, in due time. Relax, brother. Yeah, Vic, shut up. Freak was born ready. Now make sure you don't cut off my head, because I got to look bad. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm ready. I'm ready. Vic, you rolling? Rolling. Uh, hi, everyone. I'd like to thank everyone from my coaches to my teammates. You guys taught me the importance of teamwork and working together. So thank you. I'd like to give a big shout out to my main man, Vic, holding the camera down. I ain't going to ask where you got the camera, but thanks. I'd like to thank my loving parents for sacrificing so much to provide for me and my sister. And I'd like to thank my twin, Cece, for being a great role model in my life. Ah, this has been an extremely tough decision. Each school was carefully considered, but I have finally decided to choose. Next year, I will be attending Wildcat Nation. Wildcat <laughs> Here I come. I will be attending the great University of Arizona. <laughs> yes. I'm going to do my best to bring another national championship to Tucson. No doubt. It Absolutely. will be an honor to add to the rich program that is present in Arizona. Arizona, so, here we go. Thank you all. And Wildcats, here I come. <laughs> I'm about to bring that heat. Turn it up to heat. Yeah. 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 You guys heard Arizona. Frequency vibrations. Well, you know that little dance he does? He came out doing that. Freaking and vibing. Oh, my goodness. Freaking and vibing. Yeah. He, uh, he was running from the time he was nine months old. I mean, really, the boy didn't crawl. <laughs> he skipped that and went right to running around and getting into everything. He actually became, I guess, like a neighborhood mascot, you know? People were really proud of him. They come to the games and, and watch him, and then I could see that he became everyone's hope.
Suns, this is where you want to be, right here on 2K Sports. Some great action ahead, and we're happy to have you here along with us for the ride. Joined in the booth with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see Villanova and Arizona. There is no feeling like a packed house on a college campus. You can just feel the electricity in the air as two major colleges go head-to-head on the hard game. And even though this game isn't a must-have game, it feels like a tournament game, a one-and-done type situation. Both of these programs know that a win here could be huge for them as they get ready to make a run in March. Now we'll look at Villanova's starting lineup. They've got Bryant. Miller is out there with Cooper. And it's Ilgowskis in at the four. Well, for Villanova, they've had a lot of their graduates make waves in the NBA. You can find a Wildcat playing professional ball at, at, everywhere, it seems. Yeah, some of the current Wildcats in the NBA. Kyle Lowry's had a terrific career thus far. Randy Foy are, are the big names. Dante Cunningham's another guy mm -hmm. who's had an impact. Now here's Beal following the miss by Freak. Bolliner, that short off the rim. And whether he's a great off-balance shooter or not, the, the lean is probably not the best option on that shot. One thing with Freak that we know is he makes sure he gets his shots up no matter what. One way or another, he's going to get his workout in, and that's why so many are confident that he'll continue to improve. Part of it is that he, he has a twin sister who actually taught him how to play ball. <laughs> She helped him develop his game and become the player he is today. Pretty nice to have a sibling willing to help you develop your skill set on the court. Now Arizona with it. Nice shot from the wing. Deal with it. Stolen by Freak. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Wow. What a first half it's been thus far here for Freak. This is why so many think he'll be a star at the next level. And you can take all the measurements and do all the data analytics you want to, but all it takes is one half of watching Freak play when he's hot like this to know stardom is in his future. And Villanova going with a whole new group out there. Here's Gaines. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. Arizona leading by five. Lawson dishes to Freak. Over in the corner, Williams. Hollins kicks to Freak. Over in the corner, Williams. Now here's Freak. He's guarded closely. Freak. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And with Arizona, you know they are going to be competitive year in and year out. They do a great job of recruiting. And they always seem to feel the team ready to make a deep run in the tournament. Just a very consistent program. Freak in its shooting guard. Ewing is out there with Williams. And it's Hollins in at the three power forward. I still can't believe that one didn't fall. So on the floor for Villanova, they've got Clarkson. He's out there with Jones, and it's Foster in at the two guard. And it's Freak missing. The key word with Arizona, Clark, is consistency. Always in the tournament, usually make it a few rounds. Yeah, and typically there's a top seed is why they do that. Since 85, Arizona has only missed the tournament one time. Both teams will make substitutions. Hello and welcome back. This is College Basketball on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, this is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg as we get set for the second half. And guys, I think we may see some strategies being adjusted here as we get into the second half. Still plenty of time to cut into this lead. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, Freak has done a good job of getting his team in this position, and they got themselves a bit of breathing room in the first half, and all they have to do the rest of the way is manage the lead. Freak, he's in a point guard. Mitchell is out there with Hollis Jefferson. Then it's Johnson, and it's Lewis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Villanova, they've got Miller. Cooper is out there with Bryant. 
and it's Ilgauskas in at the four spot. And the second free throw, good. Well, who could forget Villanova and their one college title? Come on now. It was one of the biggest Cinderella stories ever, one of the greatest upsets ever. Winning it all as an eighth seed, knocking down an outstanding Georgetown team back in 85. And for Arizona, Freak in at point guard. Hollis Jefferson is out there with Mitchell. Then it's Johnson, and it's Lewis in at center. Bryant against Johnson. Pass to Cooper from beyond the arc. And you see a lot of players who are very talented play with a me-first approach. That is not the case with Freak. He doesn't try and attract any unnecessary attention and just focuses on playing his game. Yeah, I like that about him, Greg. I mean, in a day and age where most guys are self-centered and it's all about me, it's refreshing for a player like Freak who doesn't invite that kind of noise. I mean... That's as impressive as a skill set. Now here's Freak. Eight points for him. Hollis Jefferson passes to Freak. Bangs home the trifecta. Freak's got the lead up to 14 now for Arizona. Well, talking about the Wildcats and what you were mentioning, the improbable title run in 1985 was, was certainly the stuff of movies. They got hot, Greg, at the right time. And they had to take down two number one seeds and also two number two seeds in their path to win it all. Their biggest test being in the finals against the heavily favored Hoyas. It's the defining moment of that program. Dishes at the Lewis. And a wide open look for Freak. Another three for Arizona. Back to back threes for him. The defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three, or he'll give up points in a hurry. It's a pick by Ogowskis. Miller kicks to Ogowskis. Now here's Beal. He's tightly guarded. Miller with a wide open look. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. It only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. Here's Mitchell, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Mitchell's got six. Well, there you go. I mean, if they're going to keep giving up open jumpers, they're going to keep getting burned. Out to Miller. The tray. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss those looks very often. Johnson dishes to Freak. Baseline try. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And, you know, we've seen a lot of great point guards over the years, and Freak is right at the top. I watched the things he can do with the ball. Move the ball. Move the ball. Spread their defense and get our 107 left in the looks. second half of basketball. And, and, guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Arizona. Tonight, they did a great job of getting everyone involved. They had the good passing, and that led to some open shots. Yeah, it's a fun way to play, and it's fun to watch, too. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for Freak. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. So on the floor for Villanova, we've got McAdoo. He's out there with Foster. Jones is out there with Cooper, and it's Moore in at the four-man position. McAdoo, the pass to Cooper. From 11 feet away, so he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And the free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Now here's Freak. tale of two teams tonight one that was in total control operating flawless the ball is in the air and we are right in the midst of all the action this is kevin harlan alongside greg anthony and clark kellogg it's arizona 
facing the Louisville Cardinals. There is no feeling like a packed house on a college campus. You can just feel the electricity in the air as two major colleges go head to head on the hardwood. And even though this game isn't a must have game, it feels like a tournament game, a one and done type situation. Both of these programs know that a win here could be huge for them as they get ready to make a run in March. A look at Arizona's starting group. Freak, he's in at the point. Hollis Jefferson is out there with Mitchell. Then it's Johnson, and it's Lewis in at the five down low. The Louisville Cardinals have had a real strong run lately in college hoops, Clark, even after changing conferences a few years back they continue to shine you know and nobody knew kevin just how they would fare in the new and stronger conference but it's been winning as usual for the Cardinals. and here's arizona now after the basketball louisville and the shot is good you can't give him that shot a few open looks are all it takes to get him in the zone the dish to sanders beautiful dish and the layup goes down Sanders has got his first bucket of the night. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. You know, so often we can forget that these players are student athletes. I mean, Freak does not have that problem. He's an amazing student off the floor and is very dedicated in the classroom. And how about Freak with a 4.0 GPA, an honor student in high school, and has carried that same work ethic to college as well as he prepares for his games. He truly embodies what it means to be a student athlete. Now, here's Sanders. Following the miss by Freak, the pass to Rogier. Screen by Sanders. Shot clock at six. Here's Harrell. It's deflected and is out of bounds to the Cardinals as Louisville retains possession. A platoon swap here for Louisville. And so it's Louisville with it. Shot clock at two. They get it again. And Ewing sends it back. Hughes kicks to Price. Thomas a screen on the wing, Hughes. Price outside. Inside, Hayton. That's good, and it's Price with the assist. And those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. The screen from you. Baseline jumper. And that one's good. Freak. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Down low, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Arizona shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. Both free throws good from Hollins. Taking a look at Arizona. Freak, he's in a shooting game. Williams is out there with Ewing, and it's Hollins in at the three, power forward. Thomas a screen. Here's Hughes. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Hughes got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Arizona trails by three. And with Freak, he takes a lot of pride in where he hails from. Didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his hand by any means, and his family cheers him on from Harlem. And, Greg, you can see it in this game. I mean, we're all a product of where we've been, our environment. Welcome back. This is college basketball on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, this is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg as we get set for the second half. You it, guys. You know, it's been a close one thus far. Both teams have had strong stretches, but neither team has really been able to take control of the game to this point. And guys, this is kind of like a, a, a boxing match, a, a bit of a feeling out period thus far. The second half, we should see more things open up, and that should benefit star players like Freak, who will get more quality opportunity. On the court right now for the Cardinals, we've got White. Rogier's out there with Sanders. Then there's Harold, and it's Mack in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. They set the pick, and Sanders kicks to White. Rogier the pass to White. 
Feeds to Mack. Top of the key. And it comes off the front of the rim. Well, for the Arizona Wildcat program, they didn't really become the force it is today until the 80s. Since then, Greg, Arizona has been a big player in the conference. How about having a string of conference titles? 14 in total, all coming since 1986. Dishes to Freak. Johnson outside. Rebound by Harrell. And for the Wildcats, arguably their best years were in the late 90s and early 2000s. In 1997, they won their lone college championship. A lot of trips to the Final Four around that time, too. To the left wing. Sanders dishes to Harrell. And Sanders kicks to Harrell. Rozier the pass to Sanders. His first shot coming late. And it's Rozier missing. And Arizona has been on the upswing in, in recent seasons, though. Uh, they continue to come into the tournament as a high seed and, and win their conference. This could be the start of kind of a second golden age for the program. Here's Lewis. Again, Arizona. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. Louisville trails by seven. Pass to Hughes. He kicks the price. Some nice passing by Louisville here. They set the pick. That's good. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Freak kicks to Lawson. Williams dishes to Freak. And there's the feed to Roberts to the right side. And Freak gets it to go on the assist by Lawson. Freak's got the lead up to seven now for Arizona. Outside Odom. Pass to Price. Out to the wing. Here's Matt. And he lays it straight in. Really good work on the interior. That is a critical two points there. That was an ideal scenario really for him. Point blank range and also a size advantage. So both teams changing it up here. Arizona leading by five. Taking a look at Arizona. Freak. He's in at point guard. Mitchell is out there with Hollis Jefferson. And it's Landry in at the two spot. Here's Freak. Move the ball. He feeds it to Mitchell. He dishes it to Freak. Six to shoot. Pass to Landry. Kicks it to Freak. Jacks up a three. And it's White with the rebound. Here's Rozier. The dish to Thomas. Shot is off. So Arizona will take it the other way. Now, Freak. Too open that time. Made it look too easy. And Arizona leads by seven. And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half. And they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. I tell you what, any team will take that. I mean, if you're shooting over 50%, it means you're getting the kind of looks you want on offense. And you're being smart about it. And you're knocking down the good shots that you get. Johnson, he's checked in for Arizona. We've got 155 left here in the second half. And the foul called on Freak. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the team. Greg, no problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Here's Sanders. Louisville again missing. Arizona leading by seven. There's a minute 40 left here in the second half of the game. 
Leak with it. And the pass to Mitchell. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Feeds to Freak. Lock at six. On the wing, Johnson. There's Freak. There's the basket and make it a double-digit lead. And it's a 10-point Arizona lead. This is why everybody thinks Freak is the real deal. I mean, it's not that he takes over games like he has in the second half. It's that he does it to lead his team to win. That's the big thing. No doubt he's a winner through and through. A lot of success at the college level is talent. But what separates the good from the great is that competitive spirit. And Freak has that in spades. 54 seconds left in this one. Pass to Rogier. Dishes it to Thomas. It's hauled in by Arizona. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And Louisville making a change here. Max checked in. Here's Rogier. Now here's Harold. Here's Mack from the inbound. That's good. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his first personal foul. And here's Arizona now. Six-point lead. And he commits the intentional foul. That's his second personal foul. Twenty-nine seconds left in the second half of basketball. Well, that was a superb read defensively. He jumped right into the passing lane the instant the ball left the passer's hand. Let's it go from deep. Good. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And you could feel the crowd react as one. Yeah, that guy got him out of their seats and off their hands. Hey, guys, what a blast of energy that just sent through this entire building. And that's an intentional foul. And you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. Well, there's as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. And those free throws will mean a ton now. It makes it a two-possession game. And so it's Louisville with it from downtown. The rebound by Mitchell. And an intentional foul right there. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Here's Rozier. 